Now we are going to be using VLOOKUP to look up values in an interval. And here you can see from what we have in front of us, we've got some details of tests and totals, and we have the percentages in this column. So this is the percentage that the particular learner um, got at the end you know, of all those tests. We are looking for the symbol that they should be getting um, based on that percentage. So in this table over here, we have the intervals. So if a learner gets anywhere between 10 and 30%, then they should be getting a G. What you'll also see is that this is ranged from lowest to highest. Okay, so um, if it's not done, please do that first. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. So let's go and look at how we are going to do this. So I'm going to click in my particular cell, which is H3. And I'm going to go formulas, insert function, and I'm going to choose my V lookup. Okay, so what is my lookup value going to be? What do I have that I want to go and check in this range to get my symbol? Well, it's going to be what's in G3, the 69%. So I want to take that and where do I want to go and check that against? Or what do I want to go and check it against? This table array over here. So I'm going to highlight that whole table. And within that table, what is it I actually want? Well, I want to take that 69%. I want to match it up over here to see where it sort of falls in with the intervals. And then I want the corresponding symbol. So not column one. I want the result to come from column two because that is the symbol that I'm actually after. And there you can already see it's giving me that. And because I'm dealing with these intervals, I'm going to use true at the end. And before I click OK, there's something I need to do because obviously I'm going to want to do what? I'm going to want to use my autofill feature. So I'm going to go back to my table array and I'm going to press F4 just to pop in my absolute cell references i'm going to click ok so now i know it's a c let's see is that correct yes between 60 and 70 the learner should be getting a c and now i can do my autofill and there i'm sorted let's look at another one over here i've got medals and this is where i've got more than one worksheet okay remember that the previous one was just on one uh, worksheet. Yeah, you can see I've got my data worksheet with my names, my points, the medals, and the description. On the next tab, I've got the points, the medals, and the description. And they say to me that they want me to fill in the descriptions. So do I have something in this worksheet that is on the other one? Yes, I do. And that's the points. Okay, so I'm going to use that as my lookup value. So let's begin. I'm going to click in D2 going to go formulas, insert function, VLOOKUP. What's my lookup value going to be? Well, I'm going to go with B2. Now, where am I going to go for my table array? Well, it's not going to be here. I've got to go to the next worksheet and I'm going to highlight that table array because this is where I want to go and actually extract my info from. So just make sure that's correct. Again, just pop in your absolute cell references using the shortcut F4. And which column do I want my info from? What am I after? I'm after the description. So it's not going to be column one or two. It's going to be column three. Just make sure that you take that out and pop in column three. And there you can see there's my answer. And again, my range look up here with my intervals. I'm going to choose true and I'm gonna click OK now if I've done that correctly and I use my autofill there we go everything sorted and this is how I use VLOOKUP to look up a value in an interval